Welcome back guys, so in this video I'll be showing you how to use the free FSRC frame generation mod with some PC Game Pass games, games like Forza Horizon Part 5 Starfield and Remnant Part 2. All of these games except for Forza Horizon 5 are very demanding. This mod is developed by Nukem9, it works only on RTX GPUs. I'll be testing these games on my Windows PC that has Ryzen 3700X processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. Your experience will vary from game to game. I have tested this mod in many games. All of the games exhibited massive performance gains, but in some games, yeah, I did observe some minor graphical issues. For example, the game's interface flickering or the occasional flickering of textures. The mod is still in early stages. It is continuously receiving updates. Just 13 hours ago, a new update was stopped in the form of version 0.7. This is the update log. Error checking code rewritten, logging code rewritten, added better support for texture dimensions, formats changing a runtime. Added a developer config option to show only interpolated frames. Here is the best part, improved NVNGX wrapper DLL compatibility. This basically improves the compatibility of the standard version of this mod, not the DLSS tweaks version. So I tried the standard version of this mod with Hogwarts Legacy and it worked fine for me. So if you are struggling to get the older DLSS tweaks version of this mod working with Hogwarts Legacy, I would recommend using this latest version of the mod. Now the standard version of this mod worked fine with Remnant Part 2 and Forza Horizon 5 but I had to use the DLSS tweaks version of the mod in order to get it working with Starfield. So let's quickly download all of the required files. Just head to Nexus Mods website, link is given here. There's the latest version, standard version of the mod and DLSS tweaks edition. Download both of them, click on manual download. Then click on slow download, need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from here. Then you need to download DLSS tweaks mod files via emus. Just click on manual download here. Same process. First, I'll show you how to get the mod working with Remnant Part 2. This is the standard version of the mod. Extract its contents. The concept is simple here. If the standard version of the mod does not work for you, switch to DLSS tweaks version. Now you just need to execute disable NVIDIA signature checks.registry file once. Don't need to run it again and again every time when you launch a different game. That's it. To revert the changes, just run restore NVIDIA signature text or registry file. Then the mod will stop working. You can always refer to the readme text file. Both install and uninstall instructions have been provided. So just copy these two DLL files. Open the install directory of Remnant Part 2. I have Game Pass subscription. Click on the three dots here. Manage, Files, Browse, there's the Games folder, open Content folder, open Remnant Part 2 folder, don't paste the files here, mod won't work, then open Binaries folder, <laughs> WinGDK folder, there you go, you need to paste the DLL files here, they are already present in my case, but in your case, these files should not be present here. Alright, you already know the next step, we need to enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Right click anywhere in the desktop area and click on display settings. Then click on graphics, latest version of the mod also supports HDR. Click on change default graphics setting. Make sure this toggle is enabled. Under Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling, now we need to enable vSync from NVIDIA Control Panel, Global vSync. Tap on Global Settings. Scroll down and make sure Vertical Sync is set to on. If you want to apply the settings on a per game basis, just click on Program Settings here. Click on Add. Find the game's exe file, there is Remnant Part 2. Scroll down, set vSync to on, apply, that's it, we are ready to run the game. All of the games have been installed on an SSD. In-game settings, full SD resolution. DLSS set to quality. Yeah, there's the setting to enable frame generation, I have set it to off using the high preset. Quickly start the game. Alright, the game has started. There is a character here. FPS is around 80 to 85. We are hitting the GPU borderline. 
we just run around 82 85 fps 90 fps app. now i'll enable frame generation setting so this is very important guys whenever you enable frame generation setting or change any other setting with frame generation setting enabled it is recommended to restart your game otherwise there can be some performance issues restart required this will ensure that the game does not crash yeah there is a character loaded the same sequence and here we are getting around 130 fps game is running very smoothly this is amazing frame generation is working in this game pc game pass version of remnant part 2 hitting the gpu bottleneck not observing wow, any great. graphical bugs we can't turn back now. character model we to looks decent There's gotta be another way through. no ghosting around the head not seeing any halos Game's interface is also hey, not flickering. Eye. See if you can squeeze your ass through that hole up there. I'll just play the game for a minute. Uh. 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 144 FPS in the indoor areas. Maxing out my display is fresh it. Yeah, so buttery smooth experience in this game with frame it's generation enabled. Now I'll run the next game. Now I'll show you how to get the mod working with Forza Horizon Part 5. Again, I'll be using the standard version of the mod. You know what to do. Copy these two DLL files. Open the game's install directory. Just wanted to show you the size of the game. <laughs> 141.55 GB. Click on browse, there is the game. Open content folder. Paste the files here. Already present in my case, if you are doing it for the first time, you won't see this override prompt. That's it, we are ready to run the game. Video settings, full HD resolution. DLSS enable, I have set it to quality. You can see I have access to frame generation, I have set it to off. Graphics preset, extreme. This game is very nicely optimized on PC. Yeah, there's a vehicle. Here, FPS is around 98. Hitting a GP bottleneck. Leave this place. Head to the next event. Almost ran into that guy. FPS dropped down to around 85. Now I'll enable frame generation. Setting enable, make sure NVIDIA reflects low latency setting is also enabled. It will help in reducing the input lag. Rest of the settings are left as this. I'll restart the game. Yeah, there's a vehicle. And here we're getting around 144 FPS. This is amazing. Game generation is definitely working in this game. I'll leave this place. You may observe a few FPS drops. Yeah, FPS dropped down to 133. Still, the game is running very smoothly. Hitting the GP bottleneck. Controls are responsive, not observing any input delay. Oops, rewind. Excellent performance in this game. Now I'll be trying out Starfield. For this game, I'll be using DLSS Tweaks edition of this mod. Extract its contents. Then extract the contents of DLSS Tweaks mod file by Emos. You need to execute the enable nvidia sig override.registry file once. You can revert the changes by executing disable nvidia sig override.registry file. Entirely up to you, then the mod will stop working. Just copy these two files nvngx.dll and dlssx.ini. Open the game's install directory. There's Starfield. Its size is around 119 GB. Open content folder. Okay, so this is the directory where you need to paste the files. Sometimes even I get confused. 
replace in my case. Now grab the DLL files corresponding to the FSR3 frame generation mod. These files. Copy. Paste them in the game's install directory. Replace in my case. Now copy the game's install directory from here. Open DLSS tweaks.ini file. Scroll down to the middle. Look for this line of text DLL path overrides. You need to remove the semicolon at the start of this line. Last one. Select the entire directory here. Overwrite it with the games directory. Now we need to add the name of the DLL wrapper file. This one. Paste it here. Click on file, click on save. That's it, we are ready to run the game. This is how you get the DLSS tweaks edition of this mod working. Game settings using the medium preset. DLSS enable, I have set it to balance. Make sure in game missing is disabled. First, I'll run the game without frame generation. Straight away, load a combat sequence. Space pirates are here. FPS is around 52. Fifty to fifty-five FPS. I'll name the setting now. <laughs> What's going on here? Look at this guy vibrating. Stop it for you. <laughs> oh my god. Frame generation enabled. Load the same sequence and here we are getting around 98 FPS. Yeah, game is running very smoothly. Smoother than before. Not observing any graphical bugs. See the space pirates. Game's interface is also not flickering. So good to see the mod working even in Starfield. Almost got flag there. Now I'm going to load Planet Jameson area. It's very demanding. Someone is there. 90 to 108 FPS. Deliberately shot the cylinder. <laughs> this guy is on fire. Yeah, we are on planet Jameson. Even here, FPS is around 100, 110. This the is amazing. It's quite aesthetically pleasing. Or so Barrett has told me. New Atlantis relies on advanced hydroelectric most of its power. Not observing any graphical bugs here. There are a lot of non-playable characters. Does Radcliffe even need to be involved? President Abeo wants to <laughs> I shoot them. <laughs> They're carrying weapons. So guys, I'll end the video here. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.